Most of my favorite stories have some element of coming of age, growing up. Sometimes I like slice of life where it just takes place right now. And I felt like I changed when I looked at those stories. And that's what made me think I want to do something like that. I want to be able to have that kind of impact. When I was going around in New York City looking at different schools, um, I came with my brother and I was very shy, I was very nervous about doing this whole talking to counselors thing. And when I came to SVA and we were waiting, um, the admissions counselor came out and we were about to both go in, but then he was like, no, 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 you sit down. He told my brother to sit back down and he was like, I'm just going to talk to this student here. I immediately, I, I didn't feel nervous. I actually, that was a moment where I was like, that's cool. I, I felt kind of free. So I went in and I started talking to him and I, it felt really natural because he wasn't treating me like a child or like a high school student. I felt kind of like an adult. I felt like I was gonna go to college. It just felt kind of independent. Like I could think for myself, I could be myself. And I knew that I wanted to come here. Cartoonists are definitely jugglers in terms of different skills. You need to think more dynamically. You need to know how to illustrate shade, you need to know lighting, and I think the most important thing is learning and realizing what psychologically makes the reader feel different things. So a cartoonist has to think about all these different elements and put them on the page in such a way that is so clear your grandma can read it. You know what happens, the reader doesn't. And that's like a constant reminder that you have to tell yourself.